Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. Before we begin you'll need to know what factors and multiples are. If you haven't seen my video on factors and multiples I recommend watching that first. Click the link on your screen or check the description below. Then come back here when you're ready. Here is a question. How do we find highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of 24 and 36? Let's start with the highest common factor. First step, list all the factors of 24 and 36. Then look for the common factors. Here we have six matching factors and the largest one is 12. So the highest common factor of 24 and 36 is 12. In other words, 12 is the biggest number that divides into both 24 and 36. Now let's move on to the lowest common multiple. Step 1. List the first few multiples of both numbers. Then look for the common multiples. The first one they share is 72. So the lowest common multiple of 24 and 36 is 72. This means 72 is the smallest number that appears in both times tables. Some students mix up highest common factors and lowest common multiples. So here is a tip. The highest common factor is always less than or equal to your numbers. The lowest common multiple is always greater than or equal to the given numbers. That's why it's a good idea to practice them side by side. Here are some questions for you. Find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of the following numbers. Pause the video here and have a go. When you're ready, check the answers in the description below. We actually use highest common factor and the lowest common multiple a lot in real life. Here is one example. Mariam buys 18 chocolates and 24 sweets. She wants to make identical goodie bags with no leftovers. What's the maximum number of goodie bags she can make? First, list the factors of 18 and 24. Then find the highest common factor, which is 6. So Mariam can make a maximum of 6 identical goodie bags. Now let's work out how many chocolates and sweets go in each bag. 18 chocolates shared between 6 bags equal to 3 chocolates per bag. 24 sweets shared between 6 bags equal to 4 sweets per bag. So each bag will have 3 chocolates and 4 sweets. Now let's try an LCM example. Suppose you're making cheeseburgers. Meat patties are sold in packs of four. Burger buns are sold in packs of six. Cheese slices are sold in packs of eight. What's the smallest number of cheeseburgers you can make with no leftovers? List the multiples of four, six, and eight, and find the lowest common multiple, which is 24. So the least number of cheeseburgers you can make without waste is 24. Work out how many packs you need to make 24 cheeseburgers. 24 divided by 4 meat patties equal to 6 packs. 24 divided by 6 burger buns equal to 4 packs. 24 divided by 8 cheese slices equals to 3 packs. So to make 24 cheeseburgers, you'll need 6 packs of patties, 4 packs of buns and 3 packs of cheese. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more GCSE Maths tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.